What's up? Welcome back. If you hear loud noises, that is because the window's open. I'm really hot. We have no AC where I live. Um, not because it's broken, but because we don't have one. Keeping it moving. Today is our yearly update of what's in my makeup kit. I have since switched bags again. My other one, the strap broke and then the front part of it is breaking and I've switched to this one that's a backpack, I'll show you. And I also have an additional bag with it. To me, this is just easy, easier, easier, easier to carry everything. Um, so we'll do a deep dive, deep dive. This isn't a true crime story. This is makeup. So we'll dive in and check out what I have and some tips and tricks of how I've consolidated because this bag is a lot smaller than the previous bag I've leaked. Uh, I think other than that, nothing's new over here. Just recording whatever the fuck I want to. So welcome to the shit show and let's get started okay so this is the new backpack i have it came with um it didn't come with but it has the straps to make it a backpack i mean it's pretty self-explanatory i don't really have an issue with setting them on the straps when i set up for the day um some people might find it a little wobbly but honestly it's not a big deal to me um, excuse my dog. She's just going to be here chilling. But um, I don't really use this pocket at all for anything. Actually, do I have anything in here? Let's play a game. No, I don't have that. It's kind of a small pocket. There's also this pocket. Again, I don't really use anything in there. Um, but then this pocket, I have the Morphe 35O palette. I don't really use this much, it, but it's in there to have. And then I have this Makeup Forever um, palette that holds a few of my Tarte blushes, some Zoeva ones, and some Charlotte Tilbury powders, and then I have them all labeled underneath what the colors are. This I don't reach for super often, but I like to have it for like more matte blushes, and you'll see that I have a lot of glowy blushes. Um, that's in there, and then I have in this zipper, I have just like, I call these my, um, I have some cotton rounds, those need to go. Some of my more intense lashes. I don't use these very often. So that's why they're in this pouch. I have a few intense lashes. And then I also have um, tissues. That's where those went. Totally forgot they're in there. But that's really, that's all that's in this pocket. Um, sometimes I'll put my dirty brushes in there. But um, the bulk of it is in here and in a separate bag. So let me open this up for you. Ta-da! So this is the bulk of all my actual makeup. Skincare is not going to be in here or anything like that. Oh my god, this is crooked, girl. How do I... If you could see how I had to rig this, you would understand the struggle right now. Let's see if I can rig this even more. Hold on. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's it. Um, so this is the bulk of all my makeup. Skincare is not in here, but most of my makeup in. And again, I haven't cleaned it since my last wedding. That's why it's in here today. Um... Up here, I'm gonna tilt it. I have hair clips, I'm missing one. I have no idea where it went to clip back hair so it doesn't dent. And then up here I have all my lip liners, eyeliners, another base. I don't really like this base. Do you guys like this base? I don't really like this base. I'm not a really big fan. Um, some eyebrow stuff and then mascara and then I'll be replacing my waterproof mascara today in here. On this side, actually, let's start here. On this side we have I have RCMA translucent powder, hourglass veil, a little translucent of Laura Mercier. I have Cover FX and I have Beauty Bakery. I don't know why I have this many freaking powders, but my absolute favorite is this hourglass one. <gasps> Bitches, if you will have a client that wants a dewy look and you do not want to use a bunch of dewy products on them because then they'll get greasy, this. This is the shit right here. Oh my God. I use this on so many clients. It's so freaking pretty. And if you are pro, you can get a pro discount. So make sure you do that. So I have all those in here. And then I'm, over here I have, again, another favorite is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. I think this is number two. Yeah, this is volume two. I use this as a bronzer on a lot. I use this to kind of help do up a face or just subtle highlight. Beautiful, love it. And then I have this makeup by Mari. What is this? Eyeshadow palette. I don't reach for this very often. I don't know why. As you can tell. It's not my go-to palette. The NARS Orgasm Palette. Beautiful. Love these. Sometimes I'll just mix everything together and hope for the best. So professional of me. And then I have the NARS. This is the Hot Fix Palette. I 
love this palette oh my god i'll mix like this one's like a dewier glowy blush so if someone just wants a wash of blush or anything like that i'll put that on there these two are really i just mm, chef's kiss i love this palette this is good but as you can see if i need something matte i'll go into that other one that's the powder one this is lips i have the lip palette by makeup by mario it is loved and abused and then I have this View Set palette where I depot all my lipsticks in there. Um, it's kind of a mess right now because it's wedding season. I have all the names in the front and then I have the brands in the back so I know how to refill it. This is really nice. It's consolidated so much lipstick and I'm sure you've seen it before but it took me a while to take the plunge. Mm, yes. And then I just have a variety of, um, a lot of these are like NYX glosses, I have the NYX lingeries, these are so nice, such pretty, I have a couple NARS, um, yeah, Anastasia, I don't even need, I find the Anastasia nudes do not look good on a lot of my pale clients, so I don't really reach for them often, but these are all NYX glosses, um, and NYX colors, I love NYX lip stuff, it is so freaking nice. Um, but this all fits in nicely in here. It's so cute. Just moving on. So, um, I'll take that out. These are all concealers. These are actually still organized, so I'm not really going to touch them much. But I have a couple um, Makeup Forevers. I have these Hourglass ones. <gasps> so pretty, you guys. Get on the Hourglass game. It's so pretty. I have a couple of Color Correctors by LA Girl. I have some Naked Skin. These actually need to go um probably this week these are old and i think they're done i have a lot of these zoeva ones i got them when they were on sale and actually these are very like similar to i have one in here the nyx bear with me concealer they're very similar to that um i only have one of them in there it was because it didn't match my shade so i threw it in there and then i have one of the mark jacobs um extra shot concealers in there too so it's all nicely organized but the ones I reach for the most are probably the Zoevas and the Hourglasses. These ones I feel, these are on their way out too, but these ones I feel can get a little drying underneath. Same with the Naked ones. Um, I just really like the Hourglass and the Zoeva and also the NYX um, Serum Concealer. So good. Um, let's hop over to here. These are actually, um, these are actually photo like where you put photos in you get from like michael's craft store or whatever this i have powders extra powders color adjusters and i also have these minis because i was trying them out and i actually really love them um i have the flawless filters minis in here that i use on clients a lot of clients that don't want any makeup i'll just throw this on there i could mix color through these i have the color adjusters by face atelier and then i have a few like banana peach and then some fit me powders for deeper skin tones Again, it's not something I really reach for, but they're in there to have. This one's going to be liquid um, liquid shadows. And in here I have um, extra Makeup Forever concealer. I have a glitter liner. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Eyes to Mesmerize pot. This is so pretty. And then I also have, oh my god, it wasn't closed this whole time. Oh my god. I have her, um, what is this one? Walk of No Shame. It's like a sparkle shadow that's in these little pots this one's really pretty for someone who wants super rose gold i have a pigment it's not this pink it's actually really pretty and iridescent and then i also have a few of the stila liquid eyeshadows in like kitten starlight grace and jezebel these are nice too especially when you want to be something quick without fix plus very good those are in its own box just like that and then, ouch, these two boxes are literally just foundation. I consolidated all my foundation into these. These are little squeezy tubes, and I just labeled them with um, what, I, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um, I just labeled them with what foundation I put in here. A lot of these are L'Oreal, Face Atelier, there's a few MAC in this one. There's like one Charlotte Tilbury, and then I also have a few extras in this pouch, which we'll get to. And I have extra hourglass mini um, 
concealers because they give those to you for free plus some YSL foundations in here that I like so that's all that and you can see how much you could fit in just these little little bobbers these little photo things so good in this one I have I have a couple I have flexitarian by Colourpop and then I have lunch money just highlighters that I really like obviously I really like lunch money I've been digging into that one and then I have, there's a brush. See, I told you guys I didn't clean this out. Um, and then I have the bronzers by Charlotte Tilbury, uh, one through three, no, two through, one through, one through three, I have these. I've been trying to figure out how to depot these because these actually come out really easily and you can buy just a single pan, but nothing is smaller than this because they're so big. I have those and then I have all four of the Flawless Filter um, airbrush powders. These are super nice. Um, I love them. I also use these for bronzers too if I can't find a shade. Um, I have those. And then I have all, almost, I think he has four or five, but I have four of the Makeup by Mario Soft Glow Highlighters in Pearl. Obviously is a favorite. I use this on myself a lot. Not this one, but I have my own. <laughs> Pearl, Opal, Golden, and Honey. These look like skin without being too glittery they're so pretty and then I also have a very light bronzer it's the, not very light it's light bronzer by him as well he's on fair clients I have the Desi and Katie chasing the sun highlighter so pretty and then I also have his master secret glow in here I actually haven't used this a lot I should remember to use this but I have that too so these all kind of fit in there like that and it's happy little home just like that and then I have um this little pouch I got a set of these off Amazon you'll see more of them in my um other bag but um so in here I have it's just always dirty no matter how much I clean it I have tools so I have the scissors eyelash crimper tweezers and then I have the Inglot uh black gel liner I have some the master metallics liquid I have some glitter liquid I don't use any of these I don't they're just in here and like I said I have a couple of the smaller size um whoop, smaller sized concealers these are in a lighter shade and then I have a few of these YSL um I don't know it's they're like matte foundation I don't have the bottle and then I have the inglet 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 uh duro dual line duo Dura line, Dura line. I can't speak today. I have that too. I use that a lot. And they all fits in here and it's happy little home. And I have no issues with it. I do clean it very often though because I used to store eyelash glue in here and that was just not happening anymore, my guys. Um, I dropped something, but that's okay. And that fits in here. Over here we have, again, I need to restock these. I have eyelashes. I cut them out into their little these and I store them in here so I can have a bunch and then I also have the elf um like eyeliner strips in here so I can be super easy but yeah I need to refill this it's normally really full but that's all of that in there hand sanitizers in here and then I have these three makeup forever palettes I'll start with the easy ones so I have all my mattes so this is the shadows I dig into a lot all my mattes are in here they are from a variety of brands some of it is pure uh i don't know what that is i didn't write names on these these are morphe um some of them are pure some of them are color pop um yeah i reach for these the most clearly it's dirty and then these are my shimmers i reach for these quite often too this one is Juvia's Place, and then a lot of them are, again, Pure, Colourpop. Nothing in there is from Morphe, though. And then this one is my favorite. Okay, I forgot whose channel I saw this on. But this is the Makeup Forever Small Palette. I don't know. What I like about these is you can go like this. And I can just set them up like this. These are the Z Palette um, containers. Don't remember the size. I'll see if I can link them below. But I just depotted all my paint pots or my um the Mac paint pots, yeah. And then depotted my eyebrow colors. And then I also put soap in this one. 
it saved so much space just doing this and i also have space for one more as you can see um i'm sure you could sneak two back in there but this is a game changer this saved so much space and again it just it actually i have no problem with it closing all the way so that all goes in there with eyelashes and then everything up here so that's that and let me show you the other bag i carry that has more like skincare and everything like that in there okay so this is a clear like set bag that i got off amazon and this is where i put like all my skincare uh setting sprays sorry i'm fixing the angle setting sprays and everything like that in here so we'll kind of start on the outside i have everything like lotion perfume face wash uh tide stick lint rollers first aid and then i have all of my um brush cleaners and alcohols down here along with wet ones antibacterial wipes to wipe anything down and then on the other side i have things like um, mints, Tums, aspirin, razors, mouthwash, floss, and deodorant wipes, which I've used on myself because I'm like, damn, girl, you do not smell good. And then on this side, it's supposed to be for tissues, but I use it to hold um, my portable fan, which is dead right now, so I'm going to put that out. And then, again, I haven't filled this up, but these are where all my disposables go. So I keep those in a container. I got this container off Amazon, and I use that for... I use my disposables and I use my uh, bobby pins with it. Paper towels, obviously. Um, and then I have, I always pack a bag of these with me. These are the pawpaws. Again, I can get these off Amazon, but they are from Shop Miss A. For me, Amazon is quicker. Whenever I order from Shop Miss A, it takes like almost two weeks to get anything. So, um, so you could get these off Amazon. They're probably like a couple cents more expensive, but for me it's convenient because I can have them here in two days. So I always have a pack of these in here um, because that's all I use for foundation. I don't use brushes anymore. This is my primer bag slash skincare. I have uh, a multitude of items. I have the Laneige Leap Slip Slip can't talk the Laneige lip sleepy mask everybody gets this put on right before I start because a lot of girls are either hungover or they got some crusty ass lips I have a few benefit primers I have whoa I can't grab it I have the hydrate professional I have the light professional and then I also have the uh regular professional I'm professional out I have my eye cream. This is the Holy Hydration by e.l.f. I love this stuff. It's light and I, it's good for sensitive skin. I haven't had anybody complain about it. I have a couple luminizers. This is Dr. Brandt's luminizer. And then I also have the strobe cream in the pink shade. I don't know what the pink shade is. Pink light. I have those. And then I have the Ember Elise um, cream in this. I depotted that into a smaller one. I have the first Aid Beauty Mattifying Gel. This stuff is so good. I have some Bobbi Brown uh, face cream. I got the mini version um, just because I didn't need a whole jar of it. This is nice, but this is really thick. And then for my really thick, thick, thick is the Waletta Skin Food. This is super good to put over girls that have sunburns because I don't know if you guys have noticed, like sunburns do not want to hold on to foundation i don't know what it is it just starts maybe because it's so dry so i had a girl and um i put this on her nose because she was so red and the foundation covered beautifully but i just put a little bit you don't need much just blended it onto her nose and her foundation went on so good so i have the whole thing of that this is actually really hard to depot so i wouldn't even try and then i also have my favorite it's the milk hydro grip primer that is all in her okay so these are all my setting sprays again these pack these little bags came in a pack off amazon um all together this just has like professional spray i have the bridal finishing makeup spray and scandinavia i have a morphe little morphe luminous not luminous but set continuous setting I have MAC Fix Plus for pigments or sometimes when their skin is gripping onto foundation because it's still dry, I will spritz this on the sponge and this will kind of help give it some juice, some little life. I have a mattifying one by Touch and Soul. Did I even show that right? 
and then I have a bottle of water and this is for my eyebrow soap um, so I could just spray a spoolie so those all go into this big one in here is also the small one and I put some blotting sheets in here there's these um, little bags that I have these are my touch-up kits for bridesmaids and then it's obviously it hasn't needs to be refilled but I'll add two mints in there and their lip color with some lip applicators I need to refill this for weddings coming up but I have just its own little case for that and then I'll put the bridal one which I have pre-made in here as well I got a mirror and then I carry this around these are all dirty but I will clean this out, wipe it down with a Clorox wipe on the inside because it's plastic. And I'll put all my clean brushes in here and then pull out the ones I need for each client. And then I'll throw them all in here when they're dirty. So that way they're all in one bag and they're not dirtying up everything in my kit. What's also not pictures in here is the Glam Core. They have Glam Core. They're like these sticky skin adhesives that go on here. I usually have a whole pack in here because I like to use that other than palettes. Um, just because I don't like getting color all over me. I don't like washing palettes. Um, it can get really messy really fast. So I do like the hand stickers that they sell off of, I think Camera Ready Cosmetics. But um, yeah, all of this goes in here and I can stuff anything else extra in here that I want. Um, but this works for me as opposed to that big bag with all of that skincare because that was getting really heavy. At least this I can sling over my shoulder and then the other one is a backpack that I can wear like as a traditional backpack. And then my hair kit is a, a rolling, like a mini rolling suitcase. And then I have my makeup chair. So that's that for all of that, you guys. So that's everything for my whole makeup kit. It's super short and to the point now because I have consolidated so much in there. Um, if you have any questions of what I like to use, oh my god, I just broke my makeup brush. Mm. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. If you have any questions of what I use, you can always leave a comment and I'll answer as soon as possible. Um, other than that, I'll link the chair that I use. I've had it for like three years now and it's still going strong. I have no issues with it. It's not bending. It's not wobbling. The only thing which happened right away was I lost a cap on it. Um, so it kind of does do that little back and forth thing, but as soon as you get in it, it's really not noticeable. Um, I do really love that makeup chair. I'll link the bag. The ba Both of the bags are from Amazon. I'll link whatever I found from Amazon down below. Um, none of it's affiliate because, girl, I only have 600,000. 600, oh my God, who am I? Um, I only have 600 followers, so it's kind of like, you know, it's a big deal and all. I like just, just kidding. No, obviously none of it's going to be affiliate, so click your heart's content out. But that's going to be it for me, you guys. Um, we'll see you in the next video. No idea what it's going to be, but it'll probably be 4th of July. We're going to the river. We're bringing the crew, and we're going to have fun, and we're going to barbecue some hot dogs. I'm so excited. Uh, other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Don't know when it'll be, but I'll see you there.